I welcome you to the third National DA's Convention on Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs. And now, without further ado, the man who will define this cancer eating at the heart of America, Dr. L. Ron Bumquist. So this bass was an easy rider. I didn't believe they were real. Not like this, but I'm not hundreds of them. Because we must. They're actually pretty nice people, which you get to know them. Know them? I don't know any of these people. My yeah. goddamn blood. Don't say that word around here. Get them excited. Yeah, right. The most efficient way for us to do this is for each one of us to try and attempt to imagine what it is like inside of the possessed mm. mind of the addict. For example, a dope fiend refers to the reefer butt as a roach because. It resembles a cockroach. What the fuck? These people are talking about you. gotta be crazy and ass. I did think it was a goddamn cockroach. You will notice that I have distinguished four, four distinct states of being in the cannabis or marijuana society. They are cool, groovy, hip, and square. Seldom, if ever. You're crazy, man. You're too crazy. I'm gonna shoot you down. And what a fucking nightmare. If he figures out what is happening, then he can rise one notch and become hip. And then if he can convince himself to approve of what is happening, then he becomes groovy. Groovy. And after that, he can actually raise himself to the rank of cool. He can become one of those cool gods. Dr. Blomquist, do you think the uh, anthropologist Margaret Mead's strange behavior of late uh, could be explained by a private marijuana addiction? Good question. I'm not really sure I can answer that. But what I can tell you, sir, is if Margaret Mead, at her age, smoked grass, she'd have one hell of a trip. <laughs> <laughs> one more layer of deviance to the woman. This is fucking bullshit. I'll be down in the casino. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.